So we're continuing on with description of different electrical properties. And we'll begin our discussion uh, with a quantity called voltage. And we know that um, there are many different types of batteries, right? So you have two common ones. You have AAA, which is a small one, and AA, which is a little bigger one. But both of these are one and a half volts. So we learn immediately that voltage is not equal to volt uh, is equal to uh, uh, energy. Because clearly, you know, the bigger battery is going to have a lot of more energy right, than the smaller one. So voltage is not energy. But we'll explain the voltages. So typically, in the mechanical world, we had we have masses, right? We have mass, and it's on a ledge, which is at a certain height. So we say that this mass has an energy of mass times gravity times the height. So in this case, you know, in the uh, electronic perspective, we don't have masses, we have electrons, or we have pro protons. So we say this is a voltage equal to 5 volts, and we have a voltage equal to 0 volts, just like in, just like a relative potential. Similar, we had a height, we could say height equal to 0 here, and the height was equal to, you know, H, as specified in here, called H1, H1. So basically, it's a difference in height. The same thing, this is a difference in potential. Well, there's a slight difference here in relating uh, voltage directly with height. Because, uh, you know, in the electronic world, we're going to have to deal with both dimensions, physical dimensions, distance, and we both have to deal with uh, potential, which is uh, electric field. So here, the energy is defined as the voltage times the uh, times the uh, charge, which I'm going to call C. So C is the C we're going to call, use as charge, which is the unit of coulombs, which is confusingly also denoted as C or coulombs. So this is another confusing matter. But see, these these questions don't relate. So and actually, uh, uh, to make this more clear. We call the energy, or we'll use uh, U, uh, is equal to, we'll call this energy now, uh, is equal to the charge times the electric field times the height. Or we can say times the distance. If you like to use distance, we can use that. So times the distance. Uh, this is a very similar expression to the mechanical form that you had. Uh, which explain the voltage, uh, which explain the energy uh, due to a certain potential energy. So voltage is kind of like it's describing a potential energy for a number of charge, for an amount of charge. So let's say in these two batteries that we had, we had the AA and we had the AAA. This is small. And this one is larger. So you'd expect that we'll have more charge in this one and less charge in this one. Although the voltage is the same, see, although the voltage is the same, the charge is different. And because the charge is different, the total energy is going to be the same. This kind of is why one battery is bigger than the other one. So voltage, is, it does describe the energy, but it's energy per unit charge. And the amount of charge you have, uh, with that knowledge, you can determine uh, the energy. So the other term I just introduced without explaining is the electric field. And the, and the units of electric field are volts per meter. So the electric field is similar to the gravitational field, right, that we use uh, in, you know, regular mechanics. So we have, again, we had, uh, I'm going to call this electrical energy, I mean mechanical energy is equal to the mass times the height times gravity 
and we're going to say the electrical energy is equal to the charge times the height times the electric field. And I'll tell you what I mean by height in just right now. So we have, if we have two plates, and we have one at 5 volts, one at 0 volts, or, you know, we could say that's ground, we're going to have a potential difference. We're going to have electric field lines going from positive to negative. And these electric field lines uh, have the units of volts per meter. So how many volts do I change if I go 1 meter? So there, let's say this is a... Three, let's say this is 10 meters. So every volt, every meter I go, I'm going to drop uh, half a volt. For every meter, the volt is half. And for one meter, one over one, I guess, one, over one meter, we'll drop one volt. So there's we have one half volts per meter. And that is the electric field. Obviously, if you put a charge here, the, you know, let's say positive charge, the electric field is, is going to pull this charge. You put a charge over here, the electric field is going to pull this charge here, and give it some energy until the negative side. So it's, the charge is going to get some energy, uh, or lose some energy, and uh, you know, perhaps do some work and something in the middle. So these are the two concepts of voltage and electric field. This is just a brief, uh, you know, again, refresher, uh, not a complete. Um, explanation of these terms.